Oh, Konami. You talking about people roasting you on the interwebs and complaining about it is the equivalent to Nikado Avocado crying that he dropped food. This is going to be a banger. Let's dive on into it, shall we? Thank you for giving me content to make a video. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever living boo boo stain off that like and subscribe button, as well as ringing that ding dong Taco Bell notification bell so you can be part of the A gang. Because you know, I love, I just love, it's a favorite pastime when I'm not roasting Master Duel because I'm not a minute into the video, so I can't say what I really want to say, but you know what I want to say. Another favorite pastime of mine is roasting Yu-Gi-Oh! Konami specifically because Konami cut their fifis hurt and they can't get their fifis hurt because they get triggered. Woo! When you're taking a big old healthy dump on, now we're past a minute, master shits. When you're taking a dump on the fact that if you want to play Tempai Dragon, granted you could have got Trident Dragon much cheaper if you bought in early, but you got to spend over $100 on a Trident Dragon, especially if it's an ultimate rare like mine is because I got it for $82 because I got in early. You're going to have people that give you backlash, especially whenever you usually don't properly talk to your community. So what am I talking about? So the Konami uh, Twitter, specifically the European side, made a post uh, earlier today uh, talking about uh, basically how players are mean on the internet to them. Um, and I just saw Capital G's video on it, and I literally left Cap a comment, and I said, thank you, I'm going to make a video on this, because I, I need something for content, <laughs> because there's nothing to talk about in the current meta. This is driving me crazy so much, I literally have the hiccups now. So, let's try and talk about this here without me hiccuping like a crazy person. Uh, Dear Duelist, we have seen a rise in behavior which goes against our community code of conduct on social media channels managed by Konami Digital Entertainment. You can review our community code of conduct here. And of course, they leave a link. They go on to say, passion for the game is no excuse for insults or violent threats directed at employees of Konami or or other fans uh, that okay whatever uh, such behavior is not tolerated by us any players engaging in such conduct are in violation of the community code of conduct which may lead to a suspension from organized play online abuse and threats can also amount to criminal behavior which is reportable to the authorities and uh, now that part a uh, little quick side thing about that that's absolutely effed up um if, if you're like making threats online and like threatening konami and like all this other stuff you, you need to go touch grass you need to get off the internet you need to close down your computer for the day you need to go get a boyfriend go get a girlfriend go hug your mom go hug your dad go get you a dog a, i don't know uh an oyster for a pet go do something else with your life because if you're doing that then you know i think better help is still like looking for business so go do that sugar boo bear Specifically, I'm talking about people like me who don't want to see anyone at Konami getting hurt. I, I don't want anything bad to happen to anybody. But people like me who love roasting the shit out of Konami. Look back at all my videos where we've talked about master shits and how the game is liquid ass with big old chunks inside. Uh, there's a reason why I say booty booty butt cheeks on this channel and it's because of master shits. I say booty booty butt cheeks when they release a set that is garbage and they've actually been doing some right stuff. Like even though Legacy of Destruction isn't the best set in the world, it's a good set for the casual and to a degree a competitive crowd because all of the good stuff the competitive crowd wants is cheap. And like all of the crap Yugi cards and whatever, the Gold Star of Light stuff, they made that high rarity, which is something like the casual crowd is going to want. Like, yeah, the casual crowd doesn't want it to be max rarity, but like they're going to want nice looking cards, whereas we don't really care about that. Like the Tempai stuff being low rarity is a good thing, other than Trident Dragon, which some people have been complaining about as well, where uh, Jerome McHale was like, you know, be sure to pick up your Trident Dragon, you know, see if a friend has one if you don't have it. Like, you didn't say anything about it being in rarity collection, which would have been a great way to push that set. So people have been like, you know, roasting them for that but when you don't go in depth and you don't explain what it is specifically 
that the community is saying or doing that is making you triggered and like getting you all upsetty spaghetti then what do you really have to talk about like shut up <laughs> like you're not ever communicating with the community this goes for europe this goes for america this goes i would say for all territories uh because i would think that they're all tied to the hip minus the ocg the ocg does better at communicating than the tcg the ocg actually has end dates for their fucking ban lists which is crazy to think about i know because like over a decade now we haven't had end dates on our ban list and they'll actually say like the next update after this will be say for example october 1st we don't get that in the TCG anymore, and it's really a shame. And I absolutely love Yu-Gi-Oh to death. Obviously, I don't want you know Konami employees to be threatened online or anything like that. Like that's a totally whole other issue, and that's why I've even made it a point on the channel a couple times to say things like, "Look, I'm an entertainer. I'm a Yugi tuber. It's not entertaining for me to sit on my fat ass and tell you, hey guys, we are in a tier zero format. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna go.'" play fallout 4 now don't talk to me bye like it it's not entertaining i mean maybe someone would find that entertaining but uh, when i'm getting into character even with stuff like this or i'm talking about get your chaos emerald gems on master shits woo like uh, it's entertaining i've actually had people tell me like they think that that's really funny when i do that and i've also had people tell me like when i made my initial video on master shits saying it's hearth it's hearth gold it's hearthstone with a Yu-Gi-Oh skin someone commented was like hearthstone with a Yu-Gi-Oh skin that's gold like that's perfect because like that's all it is and it's also just garbage in general but all that besides the point also a lot of players on Master Duel are really bad players. Like, my dad's been showing me some of his replays and stuff of people he's played. Those people are garbage. Like, I'm sorry. These people are trash at the game. Like, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm sure there's a few, like, golden, you know, cows or cattle, eggs in the basket, whatever, that are good. Like, Joshua Schmidt, Jesse Cotton, all that. But, like, everybody else is just, those players are bad. Um, And so, now you put out this, and it's like... Who cares? Like, why don't you give us more information? What is it exactly people are saying to you online that you're like, we got to crack down on this. You, you're violating our code of conduct. We're going to ban you if you ask us where the ban list is. I guarantee you that's what this crap boils down to. They got tired of everybody saying, where's the ban list? Where is the ban list? Uh, why haven't you put Speed Duel in Europe yet? Why are you just letting the game die? Where's the ban list? Like, I guarantee you that's like the majority of what it is. I wouldn't be surprised if like... People who roast Konami, like specifically on YouTube, that have a much bigger following than me, don't be surprised if they're on the next suspended players list. It would not surprise me one bit, even though they don't have that public now, which is crazy. Like, they don't have it up right now, so I don't know if they just haven't updated it, but like, you can't even see who's suspended right now, which is crazy. Um, yeah, like it, it's it's really hilarious to me. Um, to kind of wrap this up here, there's some comments that I've seen. Um, of people talking about this as Capital G's got to play an ad because he's got to make money, I guess. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Um, like this person here said, reminder, Konami does not control the secondary market or prices of singles. The social media manager is not responsible for whatever you're mad about. It costs nothing to be normal. Please be normal. Like, yeah, I mean, uh, that, that that's all it comes down to. Um, this person said, I got to know the story that incited this WTF. Um, another person made a good point too, where it says, uh, one of the offenses is posting, distributing, or linking to obscene content, uh, sexually explicit content. The Twitter bots are going to get banned from Yu-Gi-Oh. Like that's a Twitter issue. Um, so that's what maybe people were thinking that that's what's going on. Um, but it's, it's of course hard to say because again, Konami doesn't really communicate with us. But if you think for a minute that I'm going to quit roasting Konami, like I love the game, don't get me wrong, but I'm not going to sit here and say things are perfect when they are. The format's actually in a very good place right now. I actually really like this format. Um, but to say the game's perfect, no. You don't explain why things are hit on the balance. You don't talk to us about product. You expect people to pay over $100 for a Trident Dragon to play Tempi Dragon because it really does help the deck. Um, now, of course, there are going to be people who make the argument that you know, you could have got your Trident Dragon sooner, and you could, but maybe people didn't know at the time that they wanted to play the deck. Maybe they wanted to see if any more support would come out in Infinite Forbidden. Now, of course, Konami doesn't control the secondary prices, but at the same time, they could have said, hey, in the Battles of Legends set or in Rarity Collection 2, in whatever set, we're going to see a Trident Dragon reprint 
even as a quarter century secret rare. It doesn't matter. In the mega tins, you know, hey, it's going to be reprinted. You know, you could say that, advertise future products that people have a reason to buy that product. Like as good as a set as Legacy Destruction is, it kind of works against itself because Legacy of Destruction was not worth buying like product for lack of a better term. I was going to say like cases and boxes, but you know, it's not worth buying a sealed product. You're better off buying the singles. Now, when Infinite Forbidden comes out, that looks like a set you may want to get a case of or even a couple boxes of. But Legacy of Destruction, it's a great set, but it's not worth buying. It's better as singles. So I thought that this was hilarious. Let me know what y'all think. Konami's getting triggered out here and um, get your coffee mugs or, or your water bottles and, you know, start filling up their tears, I guess. But don't be, you know, hateful and making threats and stuff like that. That's that's messed up. Let's roast them. Let's have some fun with it, like how we do on the channel. And we just can keep on saying that they're making booty, booty, butt cheek decisions. Also, you need to pull the plug on Master Shits because that game is so garbage and it's filled with so many Table 500 scrubs. It's hilarious. That's what I'm going to do at uh, YCS Indianapolis if I go. I'm going to go to Table 500 and I'm going to look at all the players playing there and be like, do you play Master Shits? And if all of them say yes, oh my God. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.